YouTube. Nuclear devs listened, holy moly. So, literally yesterday I just did a video for like the 1.0 review type of thing. Because I've like, you know, basically beaten the game at this point. Um, and like everything you can do, explore everything, um, you know, beaten in everything, Dan Tower, Elusive Realm, Holograms, you know, farmed, Echo, uh, Hunt, uh, everything you can imagine you can do in the game at the moment, right? I've done it. Story, all of that. Uh, in English, which was great. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, and now they released a 1.1 preview dev note. Crazy, uh, which is just kind of like um, I don't know, still crazy to me how they released this before like any announcement for like a live stream. So I'm still worried about the live stream because. I don't know, man, like... The only thing I know about 1.1 is that we're gonna get more story and Jin Shin's coming, that's about it, but like... You know, anything else? Like, more or something? Or like, more engagement? I don't know. I just kinda like... I don't know. I kinda feel like left. Like... On my own. I kinda just have to imagine a bunch of things that are happening. And I'm pretty sure that's what's gonna happen with this as well. Like they're gonna be talking about obviously like mechanics that are gonna be changing. And but like in terms of like you know engaging with the characters, the story, anything that like that, you know, any like minimal interaction like that, I feel like is gonna be hard to come by. And yeah, I don't know. It's just kind of weird. It's just kind of like making it hard for me to like lock into the game at the moment. But. I mean, I don't need to log into the game anymore because I finished everything. So now I'll just log in, do my dailies, and that's about it. Uh, well, it'll be nice to get excited for the next patch, as excited as I was for 1.0. Uh, which didn't meet my expectations anyway. <laughs> but yes, anyway. Uh, you know, I made a video about that if you want to check it out. About the day one expectations. So, we have this monstrosity right here. So, what remains the forever's message, volume 3, version 1.1 preview. Uh, they're over to give you a sneak peek into what we have in store for you in the future updates. We'll share the latest adjustments we're making to the game by the followers match before each new versus launch. Okay, they're not mentioning your live stream. What is this message to address common issues, optimizations, and all that? Modern ways version 1.1. It's around the corner. It's about to expect for the new version. New tuner synthesis feature. Okay, so you can get rid of your purple and blue tuners and transform them into higher ones. And so five purple to one uh, orange. Okay, cool. That's my edge. As long as like anything like that exists, it's all good. Uh, I'm happy with that. Now the issue will be right if they decide to like nerf or buff these features, right? Because yeah, they're like really adamant on like you know making improvements, making the game better, so people players enjoy it, so they can keep playing the game. Um, uh, because like I think on believability right now. Don't believe me on like Chinese like what do you call like I don't know like app store I guess if I saw that it has like five stars or something out of like ten which crazy um but like that was from day one right it was really low but then it went back up and now it's really kind of like back down again so uh from what I remember something like that but yeah so going back to my point is that the issue would be that well, if they decide to nerf or buff some of these features I would have already used my tuners, right? On the premium, my purple tuners, on my premium tuners. But what if they decide to like decrease the ratio or increase the ratio, whatever, you know, that is. Then that's just gonna feel bad because like, I've already used them. So why did you change it? You know, I'm gonna feel like, oh, I just wasted my resources kind of thing, right? So yeah, hopefully they, you know, hopefully they're happy with this, the players are happy with this and then they just leave it as is. Uh, so we don't get any of those like left out feelings kind of thing, right? So to increase your XP reward for unlocking new echo entries, the experience unlock the late game content earlier for a place we have introduced your XP reward for unlocking. Okay, so basically when we're gonna log in on 1.1, we're gonna get like a million XP because I've unlocked everything to legendary. So sure, maybe I can get level 50 right now. <laughs> That'd be pretty interesting. Additionally, we'll reward the UNSP for the number of countries you have unlocked during version 1.0. After the update, yeah, that's fine. Distribution compensation will be distributed via in-game mail. 
Oh, that's how they're doing it. Okay, sure. As long as I'm not missing out on any XP, I'm happy. So, higher cost range for echoes rewarded for activity points. What does that even mean? We heard your feedback about you, the high variability in the cost range of echoes rewarded by gaining required activity points in the guidebook. The improved spell will have removed cost one echoes. Also, this is from the dailies. They've removed one cost. Now only cost three and four will be rewarded. I mean, I guess that's great for casuals, maybe? Um, okay, sure. Uh, once you can really have by coming guy with will receive a random echo of three or four cost quality. I mean, that's good, but it's just like, okay, sure. Um, for me personally, I don't care about that, because I can just go out and farm echoes myself. Data bank level cap raised. It'll be raised to level 21. All echoes drop guaranteed to be a five star rarity. I feel like. I don't know, man. Is the echo grind that bad? Like going out to echo hunting. I don't think it's that bad. I'm pretty sure it's just that. You. Like, I mean, yeah, it's annoying, but that, I mean, it's per, it's great because, you know, you don't have to spend any time worrying about, oh, I got purple, so I have to go kill the bell boss again or something, right? Uh, so, like, you're going to get the correct echoes faster, which is great. But again, just kind of weird. I, I didn't think that echo hunting was, like, the issue in the game. But, I mean, that's great. That's my... Uh -huh, I'm going on a tangent. New fun in Mount blah blah firmament echo transformation. Select areas of Mount firmament. You can now transform into echo clangbang and explore the area. Using for more creative echo puzzles and challenges in the future. Oh cool! So we're gonna have to become an echo to do that. That's fine. So there will be unique puzzles, which is great because that was like one of my worries is that like if they're gonna introduce the same puzzles, it's gonna be kind of dead. Because I've already experienced everything, right? Um, so that's fine. Remove tasks of your work collection animation. Perfect. Lord Shell credit cost for echo leveling. Nah. Literally, if I level up an echo and I'm just losing money, that's crazy. Bro, they really told me this to not spend any money to not level up any echoes. God. Okay, well, I guess I'm not going to make any progress in the game until 1.1 comes out. Cool. Because I'm a sweat like that. Simplify the cruise wing challenge. i have slowed down the flames. You know, okay, I was going to say that that's a skill issue. But okay, maybe on phones, it is a little bit too fast. But like, as long as you're not holding another button to like, you know, sprint like W. One where you'll be on keyboard. You don't actually go that fast. So I feel like... Okay, I mean, I, I, in my opinion, it still sounds kind of like a skill issue, which I, I, I mean, they're like, you know, I guess pondering to the, uh, pondering, pondering, I don't know, English, something to the casuals, right? So there you go. Uh, new depths of illusory content, Dreams of Blaze and Darkness will raise event rewards. Introducing a new event in elusive blah blah blah, along with new mechanics such as token symphony, right? And different mimetic tuning. Able for to create your own powerful build. Furthermore, the total event rewards will increase to 1000 asteroids. So, is this kind of like the swarm universe of elusive realm? Weird. New York exploration, Mount Firmament area event. Okay. Cool. Sounds good. Uh, okay, so like an exploration event. Cool. Increase convene item version exchange limit in the item. The outside coral. <laughs> you know, I guess they saw my 150 yinling pools and they were like. You know, we need to give this guy one more pool, because otherwise, he's gonna quit the game. God, that's crazy. 
Okay, four preview of other special events. Uh, it's also bring a bunch of other cool events your way. So when I log in, combat event, material double, echo double, and so on. Map exploration, diplomacy of one point one. If I did the layered map feature, well, you kind of should have done this on the normal map as well. I don't think. Because I'm not gonna lie, going through those caves in like the dim forest and all that, it's not fun. Uh, you don't know where you are half the time. Um, but to be honest, once you do like, you know, go there like a couple times, you know and learn yeah, well, like all the routes and stuff like It's not actually that complicated. But anyway, that's fine. Layered map, new area quest progress. You have to track your progress on the explosion crest for the current area via map explosion progress. Okay, cool. Sure. Expanded detection range for loot mapper. There's no way. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, when I was exploring, I did have... Like, you know, I would put the loot mapper here, then one up there, and then one down here. But in this area in the center, there would be like, you know, that one pixel. That would, there would be a chest, but it wouldn't get picked up. That did happen to me a couple of times. So... I guess, you know, it does make it more nice that this happens. Quest and gallery system, new and gallery feature. You check all the reasons you have unlocked and they're unlocked time in gallery. Okay, don't they don't know why this was in the game before. Uh, after the version of one, because I would have liked to like some good screenshots and stuff like that. You can check all dialogues of complete the main quest and companion stories in gallery main story. Cool. Oh, all dialogues of complete the main quest. So this is just always available. Oh, so this is like Star Wars, which is gone. Okay. Oh, you yeah, know, that's kind of crazy, actually. Interesting. And you can play their voice as well? Hmm. Cool. Level Conqueror Lord for some main quests. Ain't no way. Was that an issue? I don't know, to be honest, I kind of liked the level 14, and there was like another level 21, like those like stop points, because like, you know, it got you away from the story, because like, to be honest, by like act, was it like 4? So like act 1 to 3, you've done so much story, you need to go play the game at that point. So I kind of like the level 14 thingy, so you know, just like, go explore, get some chests, do some fun other side quests and stuff like that. Um, and then you can come back to the main story. Because Act 1, 2, 3, it's like, it's a lot. But anyway. But this, it kind of just locks you into the story quicker, which I don't know. You know, the story already being as it is. Maybe instead of showing the story to new players, we should be showing the other features of the game, like combat and all that. But anyway. If they're thinking faster story is good, then... That's on them. More number and types of guidebook, activity points, quest. Uh... Okay, more daily quests and other things to do to get your dailies done. New combat, combat style tags. Because the combat mechanics are different really as well, but this will be better centuries on cool combat style. <sighs> Maybe? I mean, if you can explain all of these definitions, or I don't know what you call it, like adjectives or something, um, then sure. But looking at vibration strength, I don't even know what that means. Deceleration, traction, coordinated attack. Okay, knockback. Okay, knockback like for just Janjin and. Does anyone else do like knockback things? Maybe Yuan Wu, I don't know what he does, but maybe. New chat system style. Uh, during gameplay, half screen, height above, blah, blah, cross on cop, shit, that's fine. Controller mode, I don't care. Oh. If you have any feedback or suggestions regarding the content experience for all the rooms, you can submit them through in game services or our feedback portal. We are committed to continuously improving the game. The best experience possible and your voice is invaluable in the process. 
For more previous previews in version 1.1 and detailed updates and announcements, please join our official community and follow our social media accounts, which will appreciate your continued attention and support. You know what? That ended abruptly. That's all I'm gonna say. I. But that's it. It is just gonna be the quest, the main, the story, new map, and that's about it. Well, maybe the new list of realm thingy. That's gonna be fun. Because they added like a bunch of new gameplay features, but I'm surprised they didn't say anything about like end game or holograms. Now it could also be possible that they're holding out on some stuff, right? Because it's just like a preview. So kind of the things to get excited about. So they kind of I don't know. Maybe they didn't show us everything, right? But for to me, that didn't sound like a lot. I am not gonna lie. Interesting. Um, yeah, other than my story, Jinxi and Chang Li, I don't care about anything else currently. So, yeah, it's just gonna be, I guess, you know, just enjoy the like couple of days that we have uh, with the story and Jinxi and Chang Li, and then. Move on to 1.2, I guess. Uh, cool. Because, like, the only thing that I can think of is, like, the new map, right? But, like, in order for it to, like, you know, change everything, <laughs> the map, the new map will have to be amazing. Which, I mean, I don't think that's possible that the map can just carry a patch like that. But I'm mean, going we'll to have to see. Maybe the story goes crazy as well. Uh, and if it does, great. But, well, you know, following the track record, and I don't know if they've had the time to change anything, especially for English. Uh, I'm not too excited for the 1.1 story, I'm not gonna lie. But we'll see. Wow. That. Those death notes didn't really do much, I'm not gonna lie. Hmm. But to be honest, as a counterpoint, it could also be that, you know, I've played the game too much. So like finish too quickly kind of thing, right? But like I mean it didn't take that long. Like, you know, I I work, I play other games, you know, socialize, touch grass, and do all of that and I've 100 percent the map and finished everything in the game. That like I'm willing to finish at this point. So like it's interesting. definitely interesting they need to take advantage of the combat system and they need to do some of the movement system because right now it they ain't looking like it now this echo thing like how you have to transform to certain specific echoes i guess um or maybe just this one which would be kind of lame because then you know you only have to interact with this one echo um yeah maybe this is gonna be fun but i don't know it's interesting. But yeah, for now it just looks like play the main story, pull Jin Si, pull Chang Li, and 100% the map. And that's it. Otherwise, everything here just be kind of like, you know, just wait. You know, play the game for like the events for like, you know, a couple of minutes a day and log out and uh, play Zelazon <laughs> Zero, I guess. <laughs> oh no. Oh my god. 
I'm really trying not to be like too doomer about other ways, but like it's crazy. If by one point they don't do like something game changing, or like I don't know something exciting, because nothing in this note seem exciting. Like I'm not excited for anything. Like. I'm worried about the main story because it may be shit because you know it's 1.1 and they wouldn't have time to like change everything. I'm worried about um what am I worried about? I kinda like the lack of you know kinda like combat and like movement mechanics. Now not being shown. Hmm. But yeah. Kind of, actually, there is one thing. The only thing I'm excited about this patch is the tuner <laughs> synthesizer. That's sick. But otherwise, it's interesting. It's interesting. And there's also, if you remember earlier, I was saying, where is it? that thingy about echoes lower shell credit cost for echo leveling so this is exactly what i was talking about they're choosing to nerf or buff stuff that you know if you didn't know about this it would make you feel like you're wasting resources uh, you know you found out later like when one point comes out you found out oh it costs less credits to level up echoes well i just spent 1.0 leveling up everything to plus 25 uh and if I just waited, I would have had like 1 million more credits or something like that. It depends how big the credit amount down is as well. Uh, so yeah, interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. But yeah, for now, that's about it. Again, um, try not to be too do more about 1.1. You know, just play the story, enjoy it. Pull Jinshi, pull Changli, and that's about it. Um, currently, I was really um, considering... Cause I don't know if I'm gonna have enough pulls to pull Jinxi and Changli, and I was really considering like spending money on this game, um, breaking free to play. But then I don't know. We'll just have to see. But yeah, cool. There's some, there's some good stuff in there, and I'm hoping that they really hit a bunch of like the big features or big stuff that's coming. Um, but yes, for now that's about it. If you liked, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.